Hey guys, we're here today with Mike from SME. And Mike, what do you do for a living? We build 86 BRZ turbo kits. Let's check them out. So how long have you been in business and you primarily good turbo kits, you've been there. Yep. Um, what's the story behind the, the backstory behind the business? Pretty much started off doing fabrication at 16. 2012, we once uh, we got onto the GR86, or well, the 86 back then. It was just so popular, we had to pretty well stop doing everything we ever done. So somewhere around 2012, you went from being just an all around Japanese specialist yep. into being like, the Subaru mm. Toyota 86 that is it. guy. Yep. And so give us a background. How many turbo kits do you do? Um, do you do them for all ranges? What, what's the background on the 86 stuff? Uh, we do a few. So we've got about five turbo kits currently for the 86, 2 liter and 2.4 liter FO24. Yeah, literally uh, we do all the supporting mods, obviously, to go with the turbo kit, exhaust-wise, catch cancer to stuff, oil cooler kits, things like that. But really, we're just focusing on doing this car really well. So I come to you, I've got my 86 and I say, Mike, I need to get a turbo kit. Yep. What does it come with? Every nut, bolt, screw, clamp, silicon hose, you name it, it's a bolt-on kit. A lot of components to the turbo kit here, Mike, but I'm gonna ask the hard-hitting questions first. How much power can I make? <laughs> well, we have made so far Nearly 500 horsepower at the wheels with the FA24. Okay, so that's the latest model engine, right? Latest model, yes, exactly right, 2.4 litre, which is, um, you know, the, the bigger version of the FA20, which was the 2 litre. Yep. Uh, 2 litre, you know, it made roughly, let's call it 115 kilowatt at the wheels on the dyno, uh, and you can sort of, you can go up to maybe 300. So it's a huge... That's a big jump. It's a big jump. Yep. And then the 2.4 was basically like, you know, just that 20% bigger. Yep. So it was like, say, 150 up to now. We're going 400 kilo of the wheels. That's ridiculous. Standard henshin. So two, the, the two liter rod, yeah, obviously that was the Achilles heel. Um, and we didn't know. We just went, well, let's just find the limits. Then once we blow an engine, let's pull it apart and yep. see if we can make it stronger. Where, uh, you know, that had its limitations, though then the 20, FA24, the 2.4 litre, rod design is symmetrical. So the 2 litre actually genuinely does have a, like, it's an offset rod, it's a banana it, rod, right? It wants to bend. It, it's because it's bent from factory, so when it comes yes. out, it's got this slight little yes. bend, it's not a straight rod. That's right. Which makes so much sense, well, I used to call them banana rods. There so. you go. Now, when I think turbo kits, I'm thinking exhaust manifold, a turbo, maybe a, a dump. You seem to have if a you're lot, lucky. You've yeah. got a lot more than that here. So talk yep. us through, obviously you've got the Turbo Smart Turbo. Yep. 6262, this one here, internally wastegated. Uh, headers, dump pipe, then we give the customer the sump. Yeah, so I've noticed the very sump. Very important. A lot of kits out there, they don't provide a sump. Okay. And then that doesn't make it a bolt-on kit then. You know, this, this comes an extra one, one and a half litre capacity. So um, internal baffle plates. So if you're going to hit the track, it's just, you just need this sump. Uh, and the best thing about these kits, they are bolt-on. Yes. You haven't got to chop crash bars. Yep. You haven't got to cut anything or do anything. It literally bolts on, which is, you know, fantastic. So you're hearing that the first turbo kit I ever brought. Obviously with a turbo, you've got to give it oil. Yep. Oil's got to drain. That's one of the things when you go from NA to turbo. Yes. You've got you've got to put that drain, that sump oil back to the sump somehow. That's right. And so it's uh, it's one of the old things where you're like, oh, how do I get oil from the turbo back to the sump? And a lot of the guys, they literally just give you a fitting that yes. whack a hole in the sump or something like Drill that. Drill a hole, you know, welder fitting, and then you're coming down to then how good is the guy doing that job? And you said an extra litre and a half worth of oil? Yeah, about one, but we always sort of put about 500 mils above anyway, yep. um, especially for the track. You know, you just want that extra little bit. Makes just, sense? Yep. What oil do you recommend in the turbo kit? Does that change versus turbo versus NA or Absolutely. do you want the same oil? Yep. We go a 1040. Generally, yep. you know, like we've, we've been testing even 1050s, 1060s. That's fairly um, thick oil. Yeah, and there is downsides to that, you know. Uh, sometimes you can create more heat by using too thick of an oil. Yep. So things like that. So 1040 seems to be the, the nice oil. That's what we track our car with, daily our car with, you know, so. Change to a turbo, you're going to go 1040. What, are the, what is the oil from factory? It's like a 020. Oh, wow. It's like super water. thin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a, 
problem waiting to happen. Hundred percent. I would never run that personally. I would get it and change to a maybe a five thirty. Yeah, five thirty. Yep. How many bits of silicon do you get in this kit, and what do they all do? So there's five pieces of silicon. Uh, it starts with the throttle body, and down from here, down to the inner cooler, other side of the inner cooler, uh, which is the cold side, passenger side, from your turbo in under your bar and uh, to your air filter. And then we also provide another bit of silicon that goes from the crankcase breather back to the intake of the turbo to make it street legal. So if you're an engineer your car, this kit is 100% engineer friendly. And that's a super important point. So I know a lot of times people do a turbo kit or they're afraid to do a turbo kit mm. because it's not gonna be road legal. Yep. So what we're saying is, You've actually worked with some engineers yes. uh, in Australia, yep. or New South Wales in particular, that allow you to put one of these turbo kits on yep. and you can get a piece of paper that says, no, this is legal. Fully legal. See, so we've got one of the TurboSmart OPRs in there, which is going to offer some oil filtration and also pressure regulation to yes. the turbo. Yep, really important. I think that's been a really good part of the kit. OPR and then the v this current series, which you don't need to drain back to the engine. Uh, it's just unreal. You know, we've had some problems over the years with, uh, because these engines on a startup can create about 115 PSI yeah. on startup, which yeah. is crazy, Especially right? Especially with that oil, you're with the, thickening the oil 1040, up. 1040, yeah. you know, where, where uh, the OPR really comes into its own there. So, you know, we haven't had a problem ever since we've used one. So yeah. uh, I went ahead and basically incorporated that into this kit, you know. Makes it, perfect sense. A hundred percent, mate. It's, it's just peace of mind. Um, you want to go to a track day, and on those cold mornings when the startup is stupid high pressure, yep. you don't want any problems. We do see that a lot in turbo motors yep. for exactly that reason. You, yep. You've got slightly thicker oil in there. There can be bigger clearances. Yep. Um, so when it's cold, you do get very high oil pressure. Yep. Um, and if you look at the actual specification from most turbocharger manufacturers, us included, but even the big guys, Garrett, Bull, Warner, they'll tell you there is a set amount of oil pressure that this turbocharger yes. is rated for. Yep. And it's 40 psi. It's not 115. It's certainly not 115 <laughs> psi of oil pressure, even with the restrictor. Yep. And of course, with the OPR, yep. doubles the warranty on the Turbo Smart Turbo. So from, from factory, we're giving you one year, you bought it and break it, we'll look after it. Sort of um, no fuss warranty that we I offer there. It. I love it. And uh, that warranty is doubled if you're using one of our OPRs or one of our um, oil filters to the turbocharger. So you can't beat awesome. it. All right, so this is sort of all our standard um, turbo kit. Basically comes with all the nuts and bolts to bolt a turbo yep. onto this engine. Now, are there any optional extras? Can I, can I spend some more money with you is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, and, and why might I want to do that? Well, yeah, you can. So really, you know, turbocharging, back pressure, you know, you're trying to limit the back pressure, obviously. So we do provide uh, other parts, so overpipes, front pipes, catback exhaust systems, things like that. Yep. Which, um, you know, it's the factory is two inch, it's pretty two tiny. inch pipe size over yeah. the year. So the 2.4 litre one's like a two and a quarter, so yeah, a little bit better. We go like a two and a half, 2.75, even three inch options, yep. uh, and they're back. So now, obviously, with a turbo setup, the oil temperatures quite often do get a little bit hotter because you're running yep. the engine harder, yep. everything's working a little bit harder. Um, is just the additional oil in the sump enough or do you have sort of an option? I know it's pretty common to add an oil cooler. Yep. Um, is that something that you guys offer or is it not required? No, we definitely offer that, yes. Yeah, so uh, we offer a 15 row, it's uh, really nice. It's thermostatic housing, so great for the street. Yep. You know, you can drive to work without having to drive for 15 minutes before your oil even heats up. So yep. it heats up quickly, just like standard, uh, but then great for the racetrack too, so you can go cut laps drive home, um, and it's just cheap insurance Absolutely. on your motor. Yeah. How much extra oil does that allow you to add? So you know you've, you've already added a litre or so, yep. that's probably another two litres of oil or uh, so? It's, it's only probably around about uh, six to 700 mil, okay. uh, really. So if you add the oil cooler kit with the sump, and I always add a little bit more, yep. you're looking at, you know, two litres of extra oil, yeah. which is... Which on a standard capacity is what, four point something? Yeah, about four and a half, and then you yeah. go into six and a half. Yeah, so it's, so it's 50% more oil in there. Quite a bit, yeah. yeah. So that either allows you to do you extend out the oil change capacity, or yep. do you just say, you know what, we're going to change it at the same time. Change it the same. And it's just safe. Exactly right. Yeah. Cheap insurance, mate. Cheap insurance. Yep. Basically, hitting the track, these cars breathe oil, uh, so you really do need uh, quite a large oil air separator. You know, two litre is what we're going for. That's really large. Like, that's not one of these piddly little no, 300 mil jobs that you see on the firewall. No, wall. the little catch can yeah, things then. Yeah. And you know what? Those, the, they don't really do the job because they're 
They're putting half inch lines, yep. two half inch lines in and a single half inch line out to meet the factory. House doesn't do that, it's two half inch in and a three quarter out. Right. Because you've got to let it breathe. Obviously, we don't want anything to slow that breathing down. And then that can uh, basically come straight back into here, which is the intake of the turbo. Yep. For engineering as well. Yep. So it's yep. completely obviously. legal. Fully closed loop system then. Closed loop and great for track. Obviously, you need that. And then we will have uh, optional uh, can drain from the can back into the engine yep. if you want. If you're running E85, you may not want that. A lot of condensation and whatever build up, you don't want to drop that water back yeah, into the engine. Yeah, correct. So we have a separate can for that. It'll fill that up and after a track day, you just remove that, put it back, plug Let's it in. Pop it out. There we go. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Obviously the two litre engine versus the 2.4 litre, yep. there's a big capacity difference. Sure. Do you change intercoolers um, with the two versus 2.4 or is it not really required? Yeah, we do. So as a standard kit, the two litre comes with an intercooler that does flow, you know, around the 400 horsepower mark. Yep. And we do offer, so that's a Spec S in a call, a standard two litre. We do offer the two litre and RS, which is this big monster here. It's RS race spec or something. Race like. spec. Right. So, okay. <laughs> and this is more like a 600 horsepower. Okay. So, you know, we do offer the, for the guys running big boost, maybe build engine two litre, we'll offer them the RS. And uh, on the 2.4, it just comes standard. And uh, as you'll see, it fits perfectly. Mike, so this is the finished kit. Yep. It's it's all installed, and can I tell you, this is, I don't think you've got a spare millimetre in there. No. This is like the perfect size setup. We've used every mill. Every millimetre, <laughs> as it is. Now, uh, I, one thing I have noticed that we didn't see on the bench there is the um, the hot side here has been wrapped. Yes. So you've got a, uh, a heat protective wrap. That looks like it's welded on there. What's this, is that? It's basically, I would say it's way better than a, like a titanium heat wrap sort of thing. That's yeah, a blanket level. or something, then you've got a... You're a blanket, things like that. This, when you see it up close, it's just a work of art. I know it's not factory, because there's a big honking turbo <laughs> in there, but it's as close to factory as I think you're going to get and also be sort of loud and proud that, hey, I've got, I've got a turbo in there. Well, Mike, I want to thank you for your time, and I also want to thank you for building this turbo kit specifically for our TurboSmart TS range of turbos. Yes. Um, it's awesome. We can't wait to see hundreds of them out there on the street. And um, if you come up against one of these 86s on the street, you need to worry because it could be bearing one of Mike's turbo kits and one of these TurboSmart turbos. Well, I'm Matt from TurboSmart and I will see you next time.